So Fox News recently tweeted out two graphs. Um, they were all about jobs, and they were comparing the first 100 days of Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. The first one says jobless rate after first three months. Trump versus Obama versus Bush versus Clinton. Clinton is at 7.1. George W. Bush is at 4.4. Obama is at 9.0. And Donald Trump is at 4.5. The problem is... This was the first 100 days in office where very few policies have been settled, and even the policies that have been created didn't have time to take effect. So really saying, oh, look at the jobs compared to Republicans and Democrats, that is basically saying this is what they were inherited with. So of course someone like Obama would have a higher unemployment count, someone like Bush or Clinton or Trump, because Obama entered during the Great Recession, where there was a quite a bit of unemployment. Here's the other graph they tweeted. Bill Clinton, this is comparing the jobs added, Bill Clinton, 194,000. George W. Bush, 45,000. Barack Obama, negative 1,525,000, and Donald Trump, 317,000. This suffers from the same problem as the last graph, and that is, it's the first 100 days. Actually, in this case, it's two months. It isn't even a full 100 days. So, it's the first two months. No policies have had time to take effect. Oh, but look at this. No, this is what happens after you change the economy. Trump hasn't had time to change the economy all that much yet. So right now, he may have created 317,000 jobs. But what if those go away and he ends up losing 2 million? Now granted, I will be fair and say it's possible he could end up adding quite a few. However... First off, it's not a fair comparison to make in the first two months out of eight years. It's only about, let's see, 1 24th of a presidency. And second off, that comp you're basically saying this is what they were inherited with. This is what they were stuck with. So basically, this is just more lies. And that's it. I'm Sifro Joe, and good night.